MMA Plus here at Glory 22, Leo. I'm now joined by Glory Super Fight Series fighter, Murad Bazidi. Murad, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, uh, thank you very much. Murad, you're fighting Philippe Redlinden on the Super Fight Series portion of this Glory 22 card in Leo. Uh, first of all, how does it feel to be back on a Glory event? Obviously, we saw you in Dubai where you defeated just, uh, Dustin Jacoby, um, a very impressive performance. Yeah, I feel very strong uh, in this period. Uh, I had my fight in Dubai, but I didn't fight for a year. So that was uh, good to start with. And uh, now Philip Ferlinda is a very strong fighter, uh, technical, very good fighter. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with this fight and uh, to work up uh, as high as possible. Philippe Ferlinda, uh, you know, we saw him last year in the middleweight division. He kind of fluctuates between the two. He obviously prefers light heavyweight, means he has less weight to cut. Yeah. Uh, for you, do you think that's where he's most dangerous? Well, I think for Fib is in every, in every weight class dangerous because he's a very technical guy and uh, he's, he, he, he picks his points, you know, and, and uh, he stays out of the danger. And, and uh, yeah, that's how he wins his fights. But I'm, I'm not like that. I don't prefer that. I prefer a real fight. So I hope also uh, this Friday he comes and. Uh, he wants to fight, you know, and don't uh, only pick points. So, for you now, you know, where do you, where do you think you fit into the, the title picture? You know, he's as we mentioned a tough guy. You've been around Glory a long time. Do you know? Do you think you're you're near the the top of of the division now? Yeah, I'm now number three. I'm uh, to be to be, uh, to be honest. I'm uh, I'm looking for the title now. You know, I try to work as high as possible and get a title shot. Yeah, that would be great. It's a bit like promiscuous at the top of the division you know guys like Saki Tyron Spunk they've disappeared a little bit so yeah. there's no real face of the division we were talking to Zach Mukasa earlier and you know he yeah. says that you know he feels that right now is a good time to be in the light heavyweight division yeah. you know for you do you feel the same I, I actually want to fight the top guys I prefer uh, the best uh, as a lot of people know for me I, I never avoided a fighter I, uh, I took every fight in my career I've been fighting for almost 20 years Every fight I, I get offered, I took, and, and I never back down from uh, any fighter. So I think it's nicer to fight top guys, you know, even if you lose, uh, than fight less fighters. So uh, I'm looking for the title, and who, who comes in my way, we will see who will that, that be, and we need to run, <laughs> get all the guys. So, so for me, it doesn't matter. Do you think that's kind of like the old school mentality of kickboxing? You know, I fight whoever's put in front of me and I want to get that world championship. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the best mentality as a fighter, you know. Uh, nowadays, a lot of guys get get uh, get brought, you know, with, with the right opponents. If you want to be the best, you got to be the best and, and take who's in front of you. And, and, and that's how you prove yourself. Yeah. So, questionably, with no champion, obviously, you know, Saki's a champion, but we don't know when he's going to be back or if yeah. he's going to be back. Um, would you think that maybe a win here at Glory 22 would justify a, a title shot against Salo Carvillari uh, potentially? Yeah, that would be great. Also, it would be a rematch because I lost against uh, Salo Carvillari in a, re a really uh, bad period. Uh, I had uh, some a couple of operations. I was uh, in rehabilita rehabilitation, and, and uh, but but I took the fight on my own will. So 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 that was something I chose on my own. But I want to get the opportunity to clean it, to to, to set things straight, you know, and, and for perhaps for the title shot, it would be great. You've already said you've been around 20 years. What is it that you, you can still do where you can still evolve and you can still challenge the top guys in the sport? Because I love this game, you know. I, this is this is not the sport or, or anything for me. This is my life. This is, uh, this is the lifestyle. I wouldn't... It's like breathing, you know. I couldn't live without this, you know. So uh, I just love it. Yeah. Lastly, I just want to ask you, you, you fought on glory numerous times. <laughs> What, what do you think about the promotion and what they're doing to make kickboxing a, a global phenomenon? Because although it's a sport that's been around a long time, it, it's often lacked a lot of mainstream media coverage. Yeah, it's, it's true. Uh, I'm really happy with Glory. It's trying to, to bring our sport up, you know, and, and uh, uh, it gives the fighters uh, uh, a platform to perform, you know, and... and uh, uh, they're doing really good things, you know, and, and 
trying do, uh, their best to, to bring us up, you know, and uh, I'm really happy with them. Yeah. Well, Murad, I want to say thank you very much and wish you the best of luck on thank Friday. Thank you very much. Cheers.